Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to render proper leaves in Maya. So, and you see, when you see the, the leaves, they all have front and back, and they are not always the same. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to render the front and also add the back because in Maya, normally, when you apply a material to an object, it normally reflects also to the back. So, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to differentiate it make the back look different from the front okay so let's get into Maya um, so what we can do is let's let's create a plane and we just you can make it any shape you want so let's increase it a little bit So I think we can leave it like this and maybe just raise it up a little bit from that grid. So what we can do now is just uh, create a material for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, go to right click, go to materials and I will assign this another surface shader to it. So what we can do is let's go to go to the attribute here and we are going to let's call it uh, leaf material okay so what we can do now is let's apply the material that we're going to be using for it so i have prepared my my leaves so this is the one i'm going to be using okay i call it front leaves okay so what i want to i think let's reduce it a little bit like this maybe something like this would be fine so you see when you look at this this my plan here you see this is the front and this is the back we are not seeing the back like right now is because i turned off my double-sided uh sided lighting so if i turn it on you can see the back is like this and the front is also the same so if i render it it's gonna be the same for example i can just let me turn on my uh, sky shader here sky uh, sky dome light so if i try to render this one right now you can see is is the same and if i turn it like this it is also the, the the same it's like this because of the reflection of my sky dome light so if let's let me let me duplicate this um, let me close this one so what i can do is let me duplicate this and move it right here so so you can see what i'm doing more properly so i'm going to rotate this one let's rotate it to to 180 degrees 180 so now they are all the same okay so what we can do is let's try to render it again you can see they are all is identical is the same so now actually what let me first of all remove the cut out this uh, this white background that we see here so what we can do is let's go to the hypershade and uh, let me graph this this one so what we need to do is we are going to create another uh, uh, 2d file so let's go to 2d and create a file so this is gonna be our alpha channel to be able to use it to cut out this this area okay so what we do is we select that and we go to our, uh, our file and this is the alpha channel that we are going to be using so what you need to do is you let me make it bigger here you just need to grab this out color and you connect it to the opacity of this material 
once we do that let's try to render again you see our those those uh, that white background has disappeared now we only see in this one so sometimes when you do this it doesn't work if that happens what you can do is you just come here and turn off this opacity some people i think different kinds of uh, different versions of maya so if you're having problem eliminating that background you can come here and just click this one also some people also depends on the way you 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 do you did your connection here so that sometimes brings some problems so if you're having that problem all you need to do you go to that and then you just uh, click on that opaque to disable it then you can have your perfect uh, leaf like this so now we have this leaf and they are all the same perfectly the same so what we need to do now is to make this leaf to be this is the back this is the front okay let me even name it front and this will be the back So now what we need to do is, is to apply, bring in the back shader and then we can put it, we can put it here. So let's go back to our hyper shade. So to be able to make this work, I'm going to bring this one down here. We need a note called condition. So you press tab on your keyboard and you type condition. And this is the one we need. So this condition, I'm going to move this one right here and this one here. And then we need another 2D file that we can we will use to connect the back. So we go to 2D and we create another file. So let's call this one back, back leaf, right? And then let's bring in the back of the leaf, which is this one right here. This is the back and this is the front. You can see they're different. So let's put it here. So what we need to do right now is we need to connect the out color of this bag. Let's connect it to here. All right. And then we need to connect this one. This to here so that means uh maya uses the normal in uh, the normals of a of a geometry for example let me if i go to um i think is display and polygons and uh, let me see normal no yeah face normals you can see that the normals for this our this geometry is facing up here and this is the back and if we turn it here it's also going to show you that that um, this normals okay so what we need to do now is so Maya recognizes that this is the front and this is the back so what we need to do now is we will connect we connect this we connect this out color and replace it with this base color right here so what we need to do is we connect this one and we replace it now it has disconnected that initial connection we made but we are not done yet we need another um another node that will tell maya to be able to differentiate between the the face and the back which wherever the normal is consider it as the face of the leaf and wherever the there is no normal consider it at the back so that is called sampler info so what we need to do you press tab and you type sampler info node this is right here so we bring it here okay so now you see what we need to do is if you don't see the connections you can just click like that and the connect the, the connection the connecting node will appear so what we need to do is we need to take the i think is the flip normal we take it and connect it to this 
condition. So now when we render our when we render our leaf, you find out that you see Maya has flipped it because of because of the way we made the connection. This one should have gone to this true color, which is the front, and the back should have gone to the first because the true color is the where the normals are facing. Okay, so if we want to reverse it, that's pretty easy. So what we need to do is we disconnect this, the front, we take it to the true color, and for this back, we take it to the force. So now our connection is perfect. So when you render, you will see your leaf is, it has the front and the back. Let me show you here if we rotate this and if we rotate that but here in the viewport everything is the same as you can see it just looks the same but when you render it you see that your leaves are different the back the front and the back so this is how you make uh, proper leaves in Maya so thank you for watching please if you like this video don't forget to help the channel subscribe give us a thumbs up and if you have any question please tell me in the in the comment section below if you need any requests for any tutorial you want me to do i will make sure to do that thank you once again and see you in the next lesson bye bye